Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good come evening. on, give God a hand of praise. Yeah, yeah, Amen. you can do better than that. Come on, come on, give God a hand of praise. We are in his house one more time to lift up his name and give his name the praise, the honor, and the glory. We are on our third night of the revival. We ask that you help us lift up the name of the Lord this evening and welcome him in his house. We know that he is here, but we need his help to help give his name the praise, the honor, and the glory. Amen? Amen. 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 This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. Oh, oh, oh this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day. God we serve. Amen. It's revival. Amen. The scripture tonight, if you're able to stand, please stand for the reading of the word. What a mighty God we serve. The scripture tonight will be coming from Psalms 150. And it reads, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts and praise him according to his excellence and greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the tremble and dance and praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. May God bless it to the reading of his word. Amen. I lift my hands in total admiration to you. Father, we come before you with joy in our hearts, as humble as we know how right now. Thanking you for being God and God all by yourself. Thanking you for your grace and your mercy, Father God. For it was by your grace that allow, you allowed us to see a day 
that we'll never see again, Father God. And it was by your mercy that you stood in the way of everything we do deserve, Father God. And we stopped to say we thank you this evening. And we ask you to forgive us of all our many sins, seen and unseen, Father God. For we may have turned up our nose at somebody. We may have frowned or said some words that may have came off the wrong way. So, Father God, we ask you to search our hearts right now. Search our minds right now, Father God. Like only you can, Father God. And then we ask you, Father God, to come on in your house. For we know that you are here, Father God. But we need your help to lift up your name right now, Father God. Some of us are sick right now, Father God. Some of us are stricken for whatever stricken for reason, Father God. We couldn't be here, Father God. Some of us are down in depressed states of mind, Father God. But we ask that we, that we give it all to you right now, Father God. And we come to you right now, Father God, giving it all to you. Because you are God and God all by yourself, Father God. Well, yes, sir. We thank you for, for thank your you, darling Lord. son, Jesus, Father God, who gave his, his life, Father God, for they didn't take it for the remissions of the sins of the world, Father God. And for that reason, we have this evening, this night, Father God, to come into your house to say we thank you. Thank you. Praise your name, Father God. You've been mighty good to us, Father God. You kept us, Father God. You wrapped your loving arms around us. You gave us comfort, Father God, in a time of trouble, Father God. You gave us food when we was hungry, Father God. You put money in our pocket that we were undeserving of, Father God. So we stopped to say we, we praise and worship your name this evening, Father God. For we love you for many reasons, but we love you for being you, being God and God all by yourself, Father God. The Bible says, for if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't praise your name enough, Father God, because that's how good you've been to us, Father God. So this evening, Father God, we ask you to revive us, Father God. Wake up these bones, Father God. Father God, give us that life that we need, Father God. Feed us with your word, Father God, spiritually, Father God. Some of us are mentally drained, Father God. Some of us are going through trials and tribulations right now, Father God. We stop to say we thank you for keeping us, Father God. Keeping us in a state of mind, in a clear mind, and just give you the praise, the honor, and the glory this evening, Father God. Father God, we ask you to touch us right now, Father God. Touch us right now, Father God. Bless the man that's going to come in and stand and proclaim your word this evening, Father God. You bless them for two nights, Father God, and we know that you're going to give them a word tonight, Father God. Father God, touch those that don't know you from the pardon of their sins, Father God. May they hear the word and may they touch their hearts, Father God. May they come running asking, what must I do to be saved this evening, Father God? For many of us was lost at one time, Father God. So, Father God, remind us, Father God, that you brought us from a mighty long way. Some of us came from drug addiction, Father God. Some of us came out of a depressed state of mind. Some of us, you have loosened uh, 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 prison walls from behind us, Father God. So we ask you right now, Father God, to bless us whatever we stand in need of, Father God. If it be in your will, Father God, we love you and we thank you, Father God. Father God, we lift you up, Father God. I want to tell you, we love you. We praise your name, Father God, because you've been mighty, mighty good to us, Father God. Yes, yes only, and only, the only God, the only true living God, the one that has the Son that sent came and down through 42 generations. The name that's above every name. Because at that name, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. And at the name Jesus, that at the name Jesus, we must bow and proclaim that he is the one and true mighty God. So Father God, come on these, come on in this house right now, Father God. Come on through these doors, Father God. Open up our hearts right now, Father God. Help us receive you tonight, Father God. Some of us are running on empty, Father God, spiritually. Some of us need to be filled by your word tonight, Father God. And some of us come here because some of us are just sick, Father God. We know that this is a healing place, Father God. Because we know you're as a healer, Father God. We know you're as a healer, Father God. You've done everything but fail us, Father God. So we praise your name tonight. We lift you up. We just want to go another level, yes, level higher than you, Father God. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. We lift you up. We give your name to praise. Come on, yes, give Jesus yes, a hand of praise. Amen. Come on, give Jesus a hand yes, of praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Yes, Lord, lift, up. lift up your voices. Come on now. Come on. Lord, I love you. Church. Come on, church. Just revive. Come on, church. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell, tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on, give God a hand. Yes, sir. 
Yeah. Come on, come on, come yeah. on, come on. Yeah. You got to yeah. handle praise. Yeah. You got home field advantage tonight. You are in God's house. I love yeah. You can give his name some praise, amen. Yes, yeah, some of us is coming to be revived, amen. Yes, yeah. just lift them up. I just want to tell you, Lord, I love God a hand of praise. Come on. Yeah, we just want to go another level higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we thank you for taking part in, in devotion this evening and helping us lift up the name of the Lord. Now we'll place you in the hands of the pool. Thank you. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, man. Amen, amen. How y'all doing this night? Yes, sir. Y'all doing all right? <laughs> Yes, sir. It's, it's the last night of a revival. Are y'all getting revived? Are y'all getting renewed? Are y'all feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit? Yes, sir. On this final night of our revival, y'all, we're going to knock the doors down. We're going to have a good time in the name of the Lord. Because if you can't have a good time in the name of the Lord, you might want to check yourself. Amen? Amen. At this time. Pastor Davis is going to come and give us a welcome. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen again. All right, it's roll call. Y'all ready for a little roll call? Who was here by show of hands Wednesday night? Amen. Amen. Bless God. All right, who was here Thursday night? Amen. Yeah, look at God. Well, I ain't welcoming y'all because y'all should be welcomed already. Anybody here for the first time? Bless the name of the Lord. Come on, put our hands together. My job is to welcome you to this revival. You are in the midst of a blessing. And on behalf of the Monterey Bay Baptist District Association, we welcome you. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Davis. And uh, for the third night, it is great to see Pastor Meredith Davis in the house. Amen? Amen. Amen. At this time, Deacon Hall, if you would lead us in our congregational song. Amen. 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 good to me yeah. I was just sitting there the other day looking over my life and Lord you really oh, yeah. been mighty good to me when I was down and yeah. I didn't have a job go ahead, now. Go ahead. you made You've been a mother for me. You've been good to me. And now, sir, you've been good to me. You've been a father for you've me. You've been good to me. You never you've let me good to me. Stay right you've by been my side. Good to me. And when you've trouble came, to me. you wiped the tears from my eyes. I could have been dead. Yes, sir. Sleep. Bro! 
Shall we pray? Turn in an all wise God. Father, we come again before we ask for anything to tell you thank you. Come acknowledging that you're God all by yourself. Thank you for one more rising. Thank you that you touched us with your finger of love one more time. We stand now as vessels, filthy, unworthy, but we stand before a fountain asking that you will fill us on tonight. We ask God that you will have your way in this place tonight. You've been riding Wednesday and Thursday. We have no doubt that you won't ride tonight. We ask now that you will lead us in your spirit tonight. Thank you for what you have been doing in this place of worship. And we thank you for the revivalists on this week. 
And God, uh, we ask that you will lay your hands on him one more time. And then, God, some of us tonight stand in the need of prayer. We thank you, God, for you already know what we need. Thank you for this staff. Thank you, yeah, for this moderator. Thank you for every pastor and preacher tonight. Most of all, uh, thank you for your word tonight. Lord, let us not only be hearers tonight, uh, but uh, uh, we'll be doers of your word. We thank you, God, uh, that we made it through tonight. Uh, we promise tonight, oh God, uh, that we'll clap our hands uh, in gratitude. Lord, we'll open our mouth tonight uh, just to tell you thank you for one more day's journey. Now, God, when our praying days over, come on in, Father, to our dying room. Make up our dying bed. And one day we'll see your face. Thank you now. We clap our hands tonight. For we already got the victory. We already see you moving tonight. Thank you now, God. Thank you now, God. In Jesus' name. Come on and bless his name tonight. I said bless his name. I said bless his name tonight. Ain't he worthy? Y'all still sit like he ain't worthy. Ain't he worthy? I mean, ain't he worthy? Y'all still sitting tonight. Ain't he worthy tonight? Come on and bless his name just one time. Come on and tell him thank you. in this place so don't sit on your hands tonight the Holy Spirit is already moving in this place amen amen before I bring Dr. Donham up to uh, do our offering I, I just want to say that we should give him a thank you for this revival because there are some that didn't want this revival to happen but we are standing in the need of a much needed revival. It's time for some of us to get out of our houses. Some of us to get out of our pajamas and our sweats and come back into the house of the Lord. And so we thank Dr. Dunham for carrying on this revival. Because I'm telling you, some people didn't want it to happen. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. But what God wants. God will make happen. Amen? Amen. Give Dr. Donham a hand as he comes to lead us in our offering. To God be the glory for the things he has done. He has done great things for us. And we all can say hallelujah, hallelujah. and thank God for saving me. I wanted to thank each of you that have been giving all week long. Uh, and we're going to spend a little time because I want you to give online if you're not prepared to give physically. We want to be a blessing to this man of God. I have to thank Pastor David Evans out of Stockton for sending in his representation. Pastor Artis Smith out of Salinas by way of Los Banos send in his rep representation and pray for Pastor Smith. He wound up with the uh, uh, shingles. So pray for my brother. And then we want to pray for Sister Sharon. Thank God for Sister Sharon Smith sending in her uh, gift online. Thank Mother Armetta Hamilton for dropping her gift off. 
and for Sister Myrtle Duffel for dropping her gift off. Each of you, I thank you for all you've done and for what you're going to do tonight. And I'm asking us all, churches, we ask for $200 and all individuals to represent with $100 that we might bless this man and be a blessing to this man of God. Amen? Amen. Ain't nothing worse than cheap Amen. Christians. Amen. Did I say something there? Amen. Ain't, ain't too many bad things worse than a cheap, yeah. cheap Christian. And so we want to certainly be a blessing. And let's just show him that we ain't cheap. That we appreciate him when he comes here. We, we appreciate him coming all the way to Seaside. He travels all across this, not the country, but all across this nation. But he comes with us. And he don't tell me what he wants. Whatever we give him is fine. Amen. 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 Because we couldn't pay him for what other churches pay him. Amen. 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 So, but I want to do the best we can. Will y'all help me? Yeah. Y'all help me tonight. Let's be a blessing to this man. Let's be a blessing to this and to this association. Amen. 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 From all over, let's stand. Let's stand. Let's have a word of prayer. God, we need you to move tonight move on the hearts and the minds of your people bless us to be a blessing understanding that in order to receive we must be a giver bless every heart every mind everyone online they would give go to givelify paypal however means we appreciate you moving on their hearts. And then we ask you to bless them in a mighty way. Bless them in, in, in whatever they stand in the need of. We thank you right now for what's going to transpire. And we believe it is going to be done. Let thine will be done, Master. We'll give you glory, honor, and praise. In the strong name of he who died but yet still lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen. and amen. Thank you. you in the hands of the officers. We ask that the ushers can come forward and grab a plate.
this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are soldiers in the army. We have to fight. Although we have to cry. And Dr. Dunham, if he wanted to introduce our speaker, and uh, he said, whatever you want, Doc. And I said, I was thinking to myself, he knows him a whole lot better than I know him. Yes, sir. But I do know him. Yes, sir. You know, I, I, I've been down to WHW, I've seen him in our revival, and I know that he is a powerful wow. preaching man. Yes, sir. I know he is a man of God. I know he is the pastor of the McCoy, McCoy Memorial Baptist Church in Los Angeles. And I know that tonight he's going to bring a word from the Lord. But I'm not going to introduce him. I'm going to let Dr. Donald introduce him. Amen. Let's say amen. Give our pulpiteer a big hand tonight. Thank God. Come on, give Pastor Granger a big hand. It is my privilege to present uh, this awesome man of God. Very humble man. One who uh, doesn't mind being a friend to little bitty preachers. And, and, and preachers know what I'm talking about. You can you can get in settings and the pastor sometimes will ignore you. Yeah. But this brother is, is a real brother. He, he's a brother from his heart. Uh, I'll, I'll, me and my family will always be indebted to him. When, when my father, who, who died after 60 something years of pastoring, uh, all I had to do was call him. And he canceled whatever he had to do. And he came down. He and, his, he and his lovely wife, and they came and he took care of my father's burial. I, 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 I will never forget that. I, right. I appreciate it. I owe him a debt of gratitude yes, for just being there because I considered my father an awesome man. Amen. Amen. Yes. So for, for this man to come down and, and to preach, his, it, it lifted mine and all of my brother's heart. He made it that much easier to go on through. I, I consider him my pastor. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Talk to him about all kind of things. Sometimes we just talking crazy. But that's my brother. Yes sir, that's my brother and he, we are able to talk uh, from pastor to pastor and that lifts your spirit especially when you're going through something. Don't nobody right. understand like another preacher. Yeah. And so he don't mind cutting it straight sometimes cutting it straight offends people but he's been preaching long enough to understand he'd rather offend you than be offensive to God and so I commend him for that I commend him that he pastors the great church of McCoy Memorial Baptist Church in Los Angeles the president of the WHW World Handlers Workshop held once a week, in, once a year for a week in Los Angeles. I'd invite and encourage all of you to go online and look that up, WHW. And you see how he looks at those Greek words and how he looks at that 
them Hebrew texts and how he syntactically and grammatically covers it all. He teaches that down there. And if you really want to be a great teacher or any kind of preacher, I advise you, go down to WHW the first week in October. With that, we're going to ask Sister Marquita uh, to come sing us a solo from the New Hope Baptist Church. We know that her, her pastor is, amen. We know that her pastor is going through, but certainly I appreciate him sending them over here in support of her. And certainly we appreciate and applaud your presence here, young lady. All right, the next voice you hear after her solo will be that of the very fine pastor, president, and my friend, my pastor, Dr. R.A. Williams. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. How we thank the Lord, how we thank the Lord one more time. Give him one more hand clap of praise. Thankful. Thankful, thankful, thankful. I 
listened to Dr. Dunham give that in introduction, and I got to tell him I'll pay him later. <laughs> Thankful to God for him, for his family. What a marvelous soul, what a marvelous person. Thankful to God for him, for his family, for his church, for this association. Give yourselves a hand, would you? Most certainly I've enjoyed being here. We've enjoyed the fellowship, enjoyed being present, thankful to God for you. God is a good God. And he's blessed us to be alive and well one more time. Thankful to God. Stand with me now, if you would. I want to go back to James one more time. One more time. I want to go back to James. One more time. There's something about the Word of God that blesses us it makes us better it gives us answers to questions we don't know how to answer I want to I want to take a look tonight again at this scripture I want to take another look at it you know, it seems strange sometimes God has you preaching and um, one of my members called me today, one of my great faithful members who's in the hospital. And the question was, what is God trying to do? I'm sick of being in this hospital. Is he mad with me? What what is what's what's up? I I, I can't can't seem to get well. I haven't mistreated nobody. And you know the only thing I can say was the word. I said I can't give you nothing else yes, sir. Come on. God has a purpose and a plan and that he's getting ready to do something for you All right. and whenever he does you have to go through your trial yes, sir. James chapter 1 listen to what James says James chapter 1 my brethren Count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations, divers trials, knowing this, that the testing of your faith worketh or produces patience. But let patience don't get in a hurry. Let patience have its perfect work. It's maturing work. It doesn't happen overnight. That you may be perfect or mature and complete, lacking nothing. Say nothing. Lacking nothing lacking nothing. Let me read to you what the Living Bible says. I like the reading. Dear brothers, is your life full of difficulties and temptation? Then be happy 
For when the way is rough, your patience has a chance to grow. So let it grow. And don't try to squirm out of your problems. For when your patience is fully, finally in full bloom, then you will be ready for anything strong in character, full and complete. Don't try to squirm out of it. For when the smoke clears, everything's going to be all right. Touch somebody and tell them when the smoke clears, everything's going to be all right. I like the way this living Bible reads. It addresses Christians. And he says to us in essence, the way is hard. The way is difficult at times. Sometimes you don't know what to do. But this passage teaches us about trials. It says to us that whoever you are, if you're a child of God, you will undergo trials. The word trials, parasmos in the Greek simply means tests. Your tests. God takes us to the classroom and say, I've been preaching to you, I've been teaching to you, now it's time to take your test. One of the things I want to say tonight that I've noticed that usually when you take your test, the teacher ain't talking. You ever wondered why when you're going through it, you praying and you praying and you praying and God ain't said nothing. Even when Jesus was tempted up on the mount, God didn't say nothing. Now here's the thing. The only person who was doing the talking was the devil. And whenever you're going through it, the devil is really, really talking to you. But you can be sure that when you're taking your test, <laughs> and the teacher used to say, put, down, put up, get your pencils and papers out. And it's time now to test what I've been teaching you. Teachers used to say this, I told you you would see it again. <laughs> James explains to us that there will be tests. He explains to us, he gives us a picture tonight of what tests will be like. He suggests that some tests are hopeless, seem hopeless and helpless situations where you've fallen into a hole, surrounded by all types of trials. The word he uses there for fall, peri, pipto. If you want to get a picture of that, get a piece of paper put a dot on the paper and draw a circle around the dot. That's the situation you're in when he talks about various falling into various trials. He suggests that you are 
surrounded with no way out, hopeless, helpless. But the text says, God has a purpose for these trials. Tell somebody he's got a purpose for the trial. And what he's planning on doing is give you what you are lacking, what you are missing in your life. I oftentimes ask the question, how do you make gold more valuable? Gold is valuable in itself, but how do you make it more get valuable? When you take it out of the ground, it's valuable. But to make it more valuable, it has to be tested. It has to be tested, and the trash and the impurities must be melted out of us. You and I know that we got a lot of trash in us. You, you and I know that in spite of our clapping our hands in church, in spite of us saying hallelujah, in spite of us saying thank you, Jesus, it, it just calls us for a little pressure, and we'll tell you something else. Still with me? What is he saying tonight? What is he saying tonight? He's saying, number one, you must go through a, it's a process. Wait a minute. It's a process. The trying of your faith. The, the Greek word trying, the chimian, is a term used of the assayer who takes the gold ore and places it in a pot. Now let me say something. The assayer knows what temperature it takes for the gold to melt. He knows the exact temperature it takes for the gold to break down its impurities. Wait a minute. He knows how long to leave it in there. Let me say something. You, you don't have to worry about whether or not God is in the plan. God is sitting at the helm of the process. He knows how long to leave you in the trial. I'm talking to somebody here tonight. He knows how long to leave you in the fire. He knows what temperature it takes to melt you. And since he knows let me say this again. Since he knows, he knows how much you can bear. Uh, let me say something here. It's, it's, it's a process. <laughs> when the cook goes to the kitchen, you ever seen the cook bake the cake? The cook knows how to break the eggs. The cook knows. I ain't talking about no PhD. I'm talking about a cook. The, the, the cook knows flour don't taste good by itself. But the cook knows how to cream the butter with the sugar. The cook knows how to break the eggs and stir in the eggs and put a little pinch of salt. And a, a, God knows how to put in a cup of mercy, a pinch of grace, stir it up all together. 
Because he's told her all things work together for my good. And if, if the cook knows how to put stuff together for your good, certainly God knows. Tell somebody God knows. He's putting it all together. And then if you've noticed, the cook, the cook, the cook knows how to preheat the oven. The cook preheats the oven. Knows what temperature to keep the oven going. Knows how to put the cake in the oven. Wait. Knows how long to leave it in the oven. Wait a minute. Has a test to see whether it's done while it's in the oven. Wait a minute. Pulls the cake out the oven. Let's it cool. Let, I'm going to say it again. Let's it cool. And when it's cool, the cook puts the icing on the cake. Let's it cool. And then start slicing the cake. Serving the cake. And that's what God does in my trial. He takes me through the beating process, the mixing process, the stirring process. And when he gets through, he fixes me up and lets me cool off. And then slices me and serves me. And that's what he's doing tonight with me. He's serving me. That you may say, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Help me preach this tonight. Tell somebody it's a it's a process. Process. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. Let God do what He wants to do. Now let me say something again. You can't tell the cook when to take it out. Ain't only the cake saying, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. The cook has experienced. And the cook knows that it's cooked a mini cake. God has seen us through from Genesis to Revelation. We've seen him process people. And just as he processed Moses, he'll process you and I. Still with me? Now let me say something. I said it the other night, I want to say it one more time. When God got ready to bless Job, I still ask the question, yes, sir. how do you bless a man who got everything? Got the kids, yes, sir. Well, got the wealth, yes, sir. got health, yes, sir. beautiful yes, wife. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and, and yet, we know God intended to bless him. Because yes, in chapter 42, Two, he gave him twice as much as he had before. That wasn't an afterthought. God had intended to, to give it to him, but he couldn't give it to him in Job's current state. It was God who put the devil up to it. Uh, have you, have you, have you considered the... Uh, my servant, Job, that there none like him uh, 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 have at him. Have, have, have at him. I, I, I want him to go through something. I, I want to I get, get him ready for this blessing I got for him. I can't give it to him now because it's missing. He got some 
stuff missing in his life. But when you get through with him, he'll be able to handle twice as much. Everybody can't handle twice as much. Everybody can't handle a little. Sometimes you can't handle just a little bit above bill paying money. And, and God said, Job, I, I, I want to bless you. I, I want to bless you. But I got to take you through your trial. Still with me? It was trial. Let me say something here. Through his trial, sometime when God is taking you through it, it's not that he's not trying to hurry up and bless you. Dr. A. Lewis Patterson used to tell the story of how his, his daughter who was a little girl at the time, yeah. saw a little car on television. Wow. It was a real car, but it was a, a little convertible. She was a little girl, and she said, Daddy, mm -hmm. that's what I want. Uh -huh. Now, she didn't have a license. She couldn't right. drive. She right. was right. too young. Doc Patterson had the money to buy the car. He loves his daughter. But he couldn't give it to her because she wasn't mature enough to handle it. She had to go through some things. <laughs> had to deal with some stuff before she could handle a full-grown car. God wants to... God, his intention is to bless. His intention, but he knows we can't handle it right now. And I, 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 I need to tell him, bring on the trials. Bring on the trials. Bring on the trials. Someone has said, I shouldn't treat my trials as an enemy, but I should treat my trials as a friend. Still with me? That's the process. But, 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 but now watch, there's a picture here. I, I failed to mention to you. There's a picture. Watch the picture. Watch the picture. Come on. When you fall. Not, not if you fall. You, you are scheduled for a fall. Your, 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 your name is on the book. For a fall. What he said, when you fall, the word fall, peripipto, when you fall, suggests surrounded. When you are surrounded by divers, many, a multiplicity of trials. Can I show you the picture? Yeah, please. Let me show you the picture. Here's a picture. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, y'all grab, grab circle. All these are trials. Money trials. <laughs> Health trials. Marriage trials, employment trials, personal trials. You can name a few yourself. And here is the picture. You've fallen into them. You ever felt like you had nowhere to turn? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo. You ever felt like you didn't know what to do? Mm. You didn't know which way to go? My, my, my. And James says, while I'm in the trial, move with me, count it all joy. Woo. Count it all joy. <laughs> Everywhere I go, mm. 
I'm surrounded by the trial. Yeah. Every color trial I have, <laughs> I'm surrounded. I hate going to my job. Mm -hmm. I hate moving because my, my, I'm in the midst Glory. Of, of my trials. I don't know how to get out. Now, watch what James says. He was mm. the bitcher. Mm. Just hold that together. James says, count it all joy. Jesus hits a, hits a, 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 a real high note when he says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against yeah. you. Faulted for my name. So he right. says, rejoice. Yeah. And then he says, be exceedingly yeah. glad. Yeah. The, the word exceedingly glad is one word in the Greek, agaliao, which means to kick up your heels and dance. <laughs> in the middle. Jesus, uh. Jesus said, in the midst. Uh. What? Don't let your trials steal your joy. Now, now, here's how you, here's what you do in the midst of your trial. I'm almost through. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Come on. In the midst of your trials. Mm -hmm. This looks mighty nasty to get out of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the book of 1 Peter 4 yeah. well. mm -hmm. says something. Mm. Say, it, it uses the same term, poikilus, <laughs> and James is poikilus parasmos, yeah. multicolored trials. Right. Mm -hmm. all right, all right. But when you have multicolored trials, Peter says in 1 Peter 4, he uses the same word, he calls it multicolored grace. <laughs> Glory. My God. My. For every one of your different color mm. situations you're in, yeah. Yeah. God has a multicolored mm. grace mm. to fit it. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody ought to get happy yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't leave you by yourself. My. There's a grace. Thank you. And, and, and Paul said, I am what I am by the grace yes, of God. Sir. Yes, sir. I got a thorn in the flesh, but Paul said, God told me my grace yeah. is sufficient. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now if it, maybe that didn't ring your bell. <laughs> but, but Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4, he uses that word again. Come on. Right of Hebrews, poikilos, mm. multicolored. Miracles. <laughs> Hebrews 2 4. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't know how to deal with your situation, don't worry because God has a multicolored miracle mm. to help get you out of your situation. Good God. Good God. Touch somebody and tell them I'm not alone. I'm not, alone. I'm not by myself. God doesn't leave me by myself. And in and, and the, and the book of Ecclesiastes, said, I got multicolored mercy. I got new mercies every morning. Every morning I wake up with a different trial, a different ache, a different pain, a different situation. Somebody's hurt me. Somebody's trying to do me. But don't worry because God has a multicolored grace, a multicolored mercy, a multicolored miracle. Still with me? You can go, guys. Come on, go with me here. I'm almost through. I'm almost through. He says, finally, God has a purpose. God, let me say this. God has a purpose. 
God never wastes time. Nothing is lost. If you're going through your test, don't worry about losing time. God never wastes time. He does suggest this, though, that when the smoke clears, his purpose will be seen. That it will grow your faith. That it grows your faith greater. And that he says, patience. Hupomeno. Patience. God puts you under it so you can grow. To remain under. Now watch this. The definition of the word is to remain under cheerfully. That when you are going through it, I can say to myself, after everything that I have been through, I still got my joy. I want to say something to somebody here, and that is, hold on a little while longer. For when the smoke clears, God will make his purpose known to us. I'm trying to tell somebody the smoke will clear. The situation will work out. For smoke clearing is just another way of saying I'm so glad trouble don't last always mm, it's another way of saying uh, weeping me endure for a night but a joy will come uh, in the morning and I hear David saying uh, yea though I walk through the valleys and the shadow of death I will fear no evil because thou art with me touch somebody and say neighbor he will walk with you through your trial I'm not worried about going through by myself He's with me. And as the song says, I want Jesus to walk with me while I'm on this tedious journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. Ah, yeah. Is he all right? Turn to somebody and say, neighbor, whatever you're going through, be not dismayed, whatever betide, God will, ah, God will, 
God will take care of you. Ah, yeah. Is he all right? Tell somebody all right. All right. It may look dark, but it's all right. It may look smoky, but it's all right. One Friday evening, it looked mighty dark. Oh, it looked mighty dark. It looked mighty smoky. They whipped him all night long. It looked mighty smoky. Hallelujah. Hung his head in the lots of his shoulder. Ah, he died. Ah, he died. He died. Ah, he died. He died. Wait a minute. His mama said it was over. The disciples said it was over. The Roman government said it's over. The Jews said it's over. Hallelujah. They took him down, buried him in a borrowed tomb. But early, 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 Sunday morning, ow, the smoke cleared. Is he all right? Is he all right? Can you say all right? All right! All right! All right! All right! All right! All right. Tell somebody it's gonna be all right. It'll be all right. It's going to be all right. I don't care what you're going through. It's going to be all right. We serve a smoke clearing God. He's able. He's able. Do you know he's able? Turn to somebody and say, neighbor, you look like... You need to know one thing. He's able, he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can think of. As. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. Any time you should come is now. This is the opportunity. In the midst of your trial. Why you are surrounded and you don't think there's a way out. The preacher just told you he, he will give you some grace. He'll give you some mercy. He'll give you some power to endure. <laughs> good God Almighty. Because he wants to bring the good out. Get rid of the bad stuff. So we can become his trophy. To all the folks who say you wouldn't make it, he can lift you up and say, look what I've done now. Woo! 
good God Almighty. He did it just for me. He did it just for me. I can never repay you for your love. You did it just for me. You did it just for me. I can never repay you for your love. You did it just for me. You did it just for me. I can never repay you for your love. Here it is. You suffered, bled, and died on Calvary just to set me free. Lord, I, I can never repay you for your love. Is there anybody here? He did it just for you. He came just for you. When he saw that you were surrounded, he came just for you. When the devil had you hemmed in, didn't think you was going to get out, Jesus came just for me. He said, if anyone call, I'll come. If anyone trusts, anyone believe, anyone asks, I will show up. For we offer Christ to you. Stand on your feet if you can. For he said, whosoever will, let them come. For with heart, man believes. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Jesus says, I'm standing at your door. Knocking. If you will open, I will come in and sup with you. He offers us the greatest gift. Salvation. He offers you the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest opportunity. That is his self. But he said, if you would just say yes. Woo. Those words are three, but they are hard to say when you're in trouble. He said, but if you can say yes, Lord, I need thee right now. He said, I'll wrap you in my arms. I'll give you life that you never had before. Man, sir, woman, boy, child, if that be you, right where you are, I'm glad he's omniscient. I'm glad he's omnipresent because it doesn't matter where you are. He just says, if you just open up your mouth, I will enter. So we offer Christ the greatest gift God has, that he will give you eternal life. If that be you, that be you, just say yes to him and God will do the transformation. The man has preached what we need in the midst of our trials. Father, we give you praise. We thank you for the offering of your son, Jesus the Christ. The one who received our punishment that we can receive your love. Thank you for the offering. Thank you for it remaining until the day you close the door. It shall be remain open. He said, as long as we have breath in our bodies, if we can call on you, God, you would show up. So, Father, we thank you.
for the opportunity. Yet none came, but there is always room that you would do the greatest thing. Give us life and give it to us abundantly. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. And all the people said amen. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Can you, can you bless the name of our God? Can you bless the name of our God tonight? Certainly. We thank God for this, for this revival. We've been tremendously blessed with visitation of the Holy Spirit. Did not our hearts burn? while the man spoke by the way. Thank God for Dr. Williams. Let me thank uh, those that have given since we had our offering. We want to be able to tell uh, our uh, financial director. Thank God for Reverend Antoine and Sister April Dunham. Thank God for Sister and Brother, Brother Tyrone and Sister Michi Wright. Thank God for Sister Mary Davis. And thank God again for Sister Sharon Smith. All of these gave online. And I certainly appreciate all that has been given uh, presently, but those that gave online, we wanted to let them know that we appreciated them. Amen. Amen. Thank God for our musician, our minister of music, Brother Deacon Richard Hall. Come on, give Richard Hall. Big hand. Amen. 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 Thank God for our deacons uh, working every night. Thank God for the ushers. And all of our solos. All of our solos. Give all of our soloists. Sister Sue Lamb and Sister Monte Kirkland and tonight Sister Marquita Grant. We were blessed by your presence and by your participation. I thank God for all of the pastors. We know that Pastor uh, Carter had to preach today, but certainly he wanted us to know that he's praying with us even during this revival. Amen? Amen. Didn't we have a good time? Yes, We're going to let you go, but we did have a good time. Pastor Granger, you have words? grateful we're thankful for each and every one of you holy assembly i see you thank you for coming out and supporting this revival for each and every one of us there is work to be done there is still work in the mission fields and so if we stay prayed up and we stay on target god will guide us through whatever it is that we're going through amen yes, amen i want to acknowledge uh, every pastor, preacher up here, and their support and their kindness just in saying hello. Amen. We show a kindness to each other and it spreads. And people see Christ in us as we walk among yes, the darkness. Yes, sir, they see his light shining through. Yes, sir. So let's stay prayed up. Pray for one another. Pray for every church in this association. Yes, sir. And those of you online, reach out. We have churches in every area here. We even have church in Stockton. We have Seaside, Marina, uh, uh, Salinas. We have them covered. So Santa Cruz, reach out. Reach out, and we'll be there for you. That's what we are here for, for each other, doing the work of God. Amen? I, I want to thank Dr. Williams because every time I see him, I learn something new. And so, Holy Simon, if y'all see me preaching one of the sermons, y'all, I, I don't know nothing. Thank y'all. Amen. Amen. Uh, Pastor Lattimore, please. Thank you, man. I just want to thank God for Dr. R.A. Williams and for 
lifting up my spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah, only, man. Only God knows. Come on. What we need when we need it. Huh. Yes, sir. I'm grateful uh, to to be present, to be lifted, because, like He said, even we go through. Yes, Lord. And it's times like these that God will strengthen you. Yes. But you got to be able to be in the presence to hear it. Come on. So Come on. you can be strengthened when you're in your trial. Yes, sir. So I thank God for him, for his wife, for his church, and for our moderator. Bless you, Amen. Man. And I really truly want to bless my father in the ministry. Thank yes, God sir. for dad and mom that is present. Yes, sir. Give God glory to him, to my big brother, Anthony. We just thank God for you. And it's an appreciation just to be part of this group. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Pastor Anthony Davis. Pastor Anthony Davis. Now, now I'm going to call Papa up. Don't you call him? That's my, that's, amen. You can, you can call him, dog. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> what a blessing. I've been blessed to uh, the Mount Nebo family online, been looking online, and some been in and your in our presence god bless you thank you for your attendance and for your support this is this is an awesome yeah. preacher back yeah. behind me awesome preacher. and and what i what i like the most is that he he teaches i remember when i first accepted my calling in the ministry and my dad who is my pastor well said, you got to go down, yeah. put, make this week available, and save your money, and, and come down with us. And I've been going every cent, yeah, every cent. It is a blessing. And what I like about it, what I like about it, is he teaches you, us, how, how to apply the Bible. Teaches us how to apply the Bible, I, 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 real quick, real quick, look. There were, I got a little story. There, there, was a, there was a family, struggling family, who saved up enough money to send their son to college. And one summer, the son was at home and they were sitting at the table getting ready to eat dinner. And the son said, Dad, there's three ducks on the table. Dad looked at the son and looked at the table and looked back up at the son and said, no son, I, I only killed two ducks. And he kid looked at his mom and said, Mom, there are three ducks at the table. Mom looked at the ducks, looked at the son, looked back at the ducks and said, no, son, I only cooked two ducks. So then the son began to mathematically show his parents what he learned in college and did all that trigonometry and how he came up with three. After he did that, Daddy bowed, said the blessings, took one of the ducks, put it on mama's plate, took the other duck, put it on his plate, and said, son, you help yourself to that third duck. <laughs> this man teaches us how to apply what we learn. And I give God all the praise for it. Papa Davis, we were honored to even have you be preached up to the pulpit, man. We, we're grateful to God. Do you have words you would like to express, Doc? Pastor, I'm honored to be here. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. I'm honored to be just in the presence of Dr. Aaron Lee. Yes, sir. As my son stated years ago, yes, sir. I told him that Yes, sir. He needed. Yes, sir. Go to WHW. Yes, sir. 
And I'm so thankful he yeah. did. And to Dr. Williams, I am eternal grateful yeah, to you, sir, yeah. for what you taught, what you continue to teach, mm. but most of all, for the life and the example mm. that you give to all of these young yes, preachers sir. and pastors <laughs> and to this old one that's still learning from you. God bless you, Dr. William. God bless you, Thank you Pastor. Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, give Pastor David, Emeritus Davis a big hand. Certainly, we thank God uh, even for Reverend Dom uh, playing on the guitar and Reverend Garrett for playing in the drums. Yeah. Amen. Uh, our minds are clear. We're going home. We got to get on the road at 4 o'clock in the morning so y'all pray for us. God is able to keep us and bring us back safely. Thank you so much. Uh, but we certainly enjoyed our friend, our family for being here with us. Doc, you have, we're going to bring you up now to close us out. Closing prayer. prayer and we're going home. Give him a big hand, will you? Come on, give him a big hand. Thank you so much. Uh, this is one of the highlights in my own ministry, just to be able to come down here and share with you. So I'm I'm thankful to God, and I feel like I'm the better and the benefactor as a result of your invitation to come and share. God bless each and every one of you. I love you. Let's go home. Let's bow our heads. God, our Father, we say thank you for your mercy, your grace, your goodness, for your generosity, how you've blessed us this week, and we want to say thank you. Now as we prepare to leave, give us traveling grace, journeying mercies, angels of protection. Forgive us of our sins, our transgressions. May we be more like you every day. We give your name, praise, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen.